Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video in the London system opening. And in this video, I am going to show you how to deal with black bishop to f5. Sometimes a uh, kind of annoying move. So I'll show you guys a variation where black actually brings his bishop out and is kind of copying our setup. So before we already talked about these moves where it starts with pawn to d4, when black responds pawn to d5, again, I don't want to go over the purpose of these moves, uh, you know, don't want to cover any content I already did. If you didn't watch my last video, by the way, highly recommend you do. But essentially, we continue our development with bishop to f4. So now, in the last video, I covered what happens when black just brings their knight out. But in this variation, what I want to do is I want to cover the idea that black has a different option as well. And that is bringing their bishop out to f5 so as you can see what black is doing is is essentially mimicking our moves and black does this to essentially equalize the position so whatever ideas we have if black says okay if i can just copy those then we're going to end up with a pretty equal position which is good for black since white is supposed to have the advantage since white goes first so at this point, we're just going to continue with our normal London setup, and that is moving our pawn up from e2 to e3. Again, protecting two pieces, opening up a lane for our bishop, nothing new here. So now black is going to essentially follow the same idea that uh, they have been following, and that is move pawn from e7 to e6. Again, at this point, we have a very symmetric position. And to be honest, this isn't that bad for black because even though they're just copying our moves, I mean, this pawn is of course protecting these two pieces. They have a nice lane open up for their bishop and it's just a very equal position. So what we are going to do now in order to try to break the symmetry is we're actually going to take our bishop on F1 and move it out earlier than we did in the last video. So I'm gonna take this bishop and move him out to D3 and essentially what I am offering is an exchange of bishops. Now, black isn't left with, you know, any really great options. What they can do is leave it there. Mm, okay, that's a possibility. They can also decide to retreat it to G6, but then if they don't wanna trade, then they basically just lost the tempo because in the opening, one of the core concepts, you never want to move the same piece twice. So if, if they take their bishop and move it to f5 and then retreat it to g6, I mean, they're just losing a tempo while we have a bishop developed. So not the best option either. Uh, so now in this line, I'm going to show you the last option, which is, okay, if they don't want to lose a tempo, then they have the option of just capturing our bishop on d3 doesn't seem like the worst possibility given the fact that they don't lose a tempo maybe we will recapture with this pawn and you know get doubled pawns but actually what i suggest to do in this situation is not recapture with this pawn right here and instead take with the queen now whenever we retake with the queen what we're allowing is first of all if we stop for a second and look at this queen it is in a pretty awesome location where it has a lot of mobility. It's radiating power out in all directions. But aside from that, if black doesn't play the correct move, we have this possibility where the queen can go to b5. And at this point, this king is going to be in check. And once this king is in check, they have to defend it in some kind of way. And once they do that, we can go ahead and just attack this pawn winning a pawn so that is the benefit of recapturing with a queen because we are eyeing down b5 putting the king in check and eyeing down a pawn so we would essentially be up a pawn so if black does not see this and plays any other move then that is you know our ideal plan but assuming that black sees what you know kind of the trick we're going for they're most likely going to take their pawn on c7 and bring it out to c6 so again, that stops our queen from ever moving to b5, at least for the time being. And of course, our plan cannot continue. However, we are still in a pretty good position at this point. And what we can do is just essentially continue with our normal London development. 
So that includes taking our knight and bringing it out to d2. Excellent move. And again, we learned about this in the last video, just develops towards the center. And also, if we ever bring our knight out here, which is the main idea in London, then they would be protecting each other. And now from Black's point of view, they have a couple of different options. I would say that one of the most common ones is taking the knight and moving it out to f6. If this happens, then we can just continue development, taking our knight, moving it out to f3. Again, protecting this knight, prepare for castling, and looking at a nice outpost on e5. Uh, let me just go back a couple moves. Uh, they also have the option of taking their bishop and bringing it out to d6. Now, if this happens, what they essentially want is for us to trade off right here. Because if we capture with our bishop, then essentially they can take with the queen and end up in the same situation that we are. The queen is in a better position. We don't have our powerful dark square bishop. And it's just, uh, we essentially just help activate their queen, which is not ideal. So instead, if black decides to move their bishop to d6, I suggest retreating our bishop to g3. And the reason for this is because at any point, if black decides to recapture, instead of taking with the pawn on e3, what we can do now is we can actually take with the pawn on h2. And whenever we do this, yes, we get double pawns, but we also get the advantage of opening up the h file for our rook. So just to take a step back and look at this position, again, even the engine says that it is winning for white. We have an open h file. We have a piece developed. We have our queen radiating out power in the middle. And our pawn structure right above the king is pretty solid. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.